Many of you picture the sun looking like this cartoon picture. However, the sun is a ball of burning gas that gives Earth heat and light. The position of the sun determines the length of a shadow. A sundial uses a shadow to mark time. The sun appears to move from east to west. Its path can be followed using a fixed object like a tree or a pole as a reference point. The sun shines all of the time. The spinning or rotation of the earth is what makes day and night. The sun also stays in one place. The orbit of the earth around the sun makes it look as if the sun moves across the sky. Due to the tilt of the earth and the shape and path of the orbit, days are longer in summer than nights. In winter, days are shorter than nights. As the Earth makes its yearly elliptical orbit around the Sun, it travels close to the Sun on two occasions, in spring and fall. These two seasons, in late March and late September, are marked by equinoxes. An equinox, by definition, occurs when day and night are equal lengths, 12 hours each. In June and December, a solstice occurs. This is the point where day or night will be the longest it will be all year. It allows one pole to have 24 hours of daylight, while the other pole has 24 hours of night. The summer solstice is the day of the year with the longest period of daylight and the shortest night, and it marks the first day of the season of summer. The moon is made up of rocks and dust. The surface is covered with mountains, valleys, boulders, and craters. The man and the moon is made from light and dark shadows. The moon produces no light of its own, but reflects the light of the sun. The moon goes through phases each month because of the shadow of the earth. The moon phases can be recorded monthly on a calendar. Now it's your turn to look on a calendar for this month and see if you can track the phases of the moon.